Race number eight, class three contest here. 1,200 metres is the trip with uh, a debutante as well in the shape of, well, I'm going to say Yu Yu King. It might be Yo Yo King, it might be Yao Yao King, but Alden Mayer are riding for Tony Miller. King of Hearts, third last amount behind Golden 60. Hinch and Love, blinkers go back on. Um, fourth two starts back behind Yi Chong Baby. Aero Happiness is a two-time winner over the 1,200 metres, including two starts back. Interstellar makes his Hong Kong debut as well. Star of Yun Long, well, in theory, he makes his debut as well. He was uh, withdrawn on his intended first start. Athera, though, big draw card here, unbeaten in two starts so far. The two-year-old draws barrier 14. Now to happy win-win for market 62. Dylan Moe will jump from barrier number three. New Age of Sunrise, Momentum Galaxy, and happy win-win are the horses that have been up at Chung Farm. All right, well, um, horse number one, if you can help us out, Tony, that'd be great because it's raced by the same syndicate, the UU or the Yo-Yo syndicate. Um, we have been discussing on which way to go. We're really a little bit unsure, but he's going to get back and close, I would have thought. Um, Athero potentially will jump and spring out of the gates and look for the front. Two-year-old taking on the older horses here. Interstellar showed some pace overseas. He's had some pace in one of his trials. New Asia Sunrise not too far away. Um, so that looks like the order. Here is the aforementioned King. He's on the far side there uh, with uh, horses running in the last on debut as well. Uh, he's had three trials for 1,056 pounds. He's quite well tuned up and he has won over 1,000 metres before in South Africa. Here's Aero Happiness. Now he's found a bit of form recently. Uh, goes nicely once again. He's got that awkward draw to overcome but a, a horse that is in form um, a pre and, and it was a good win from him last time as well. And the last one we've got down there is a Thero. Thought would show a Thero there as well. Two-year-old, handicap company for the first time, but he's, uh, he's swept all before him so far in the Griffins. Yeah, and has raced and won over the 1,200 <coughs> metres um, as well, so he's got that experience yeah. under his belt. That's probably the place um, to start as well. Um, a Thero wants more. His jockey, Zach Pert. A Thero, Zach. He's been so impressive in what he's done so far, but from gate 14 up to class three, this is tougher, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We'll get to see uh, what he's made of this time. He hasn't been under any pressure yet. And like I keep saying, pressure is what separates the good ones from the average ones. And he's definitely going to have to do it the tough way this time. So we'll get a better guide on where he's at. He's had a pretty easy time of things in front of these couple of races that he's had. Uh, from gate 14, though, up against older horses, does he have to lead or how can you play things? Uh, I haven't looked at the race yet, so I, I don't know what my competition is or, or what the speed is like. So. It's hard to say where we're going to be at the moment, but um, it will obviously depend on how he begins and we'll just assess it from there. But um, I don't think he's going to be one dimensional um, as time goes on. At the moment, he doesn't really have a proper race brain, but he's only a young horse and he has that much experience. So that's to be expected at his stage of uh, his career. As you say, only a young horse, only a two-year-old. Two-year-old racing is not such a big thing here in Hong Kong, but in Australia, you've won on two-year-olds or ridden two-year-olds like a hood, Yankee Rose, excites. For a two-year-old, where does he line up? It's always um, hard to line horses up from, from different countries at different times and things like that, but he, he has given me a good feel, and um, I have no doubt if, if he was in Australia running in the two-year-old races, he'd, he'd acquit himself well against the better horses. We've got five meetings left, including Monday's meeting. You're 19 wins off breaking Joe Marrera's record for the most wins in a season. Is it a, a realistic task? Um, I don't think so. I think it's um, it's a task that looks as if it's too hard. It's a too big a mountain to climb. My rides at Happy Valley, unfortunately, have been pretty ordinary. I haven't had the, the quality or the depth to my rides there. So um, when you're going to those meetings and struggling to try and pull one winner out of the hat, it, it's not enough. So. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get there. There's been plenty of other good milestones this season, though. Yeah, I've had a good season. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, it's been a great season, whichever way you look at it. And Athero could be another winner in the bag. He does get a £5 uh, weight for age allowance, as well as a two-year-old in this race, but starts off life off a mark of 75. He's one of his main rivals, Aero Happiness. Yeah, and John Size has got this horse going really well. He was a bit of a... Um you know, a nonny earlier on, I think it's fair to say. He had a lot of ability and a lot of uh, potential there, but it's taken a while to extract the best from him. Uh, we're certainly seeing uh, him at his best at the moment. He's got another awkward draw, but uh, I think he'll be right there in the finish. He's been placed on this draw before, hasn't he? So, yeah. But he will need everything to go his way, I think. That's going to be the key for him. 
I've got him in there. You have to put him in there, I think, because he's uh, been consistent recently. You want to look at the times. They ran 1.9.1 there, and Athero ran 1.10.1 when he won by a space. Yeah. But there was some cushion in the track the day Athero won. All right. Um, King of Hearts has taken a few starts for the penny to drop um, for him. It looks like it has now, but good form over from the UK. Um, and Diamond Brilliant, um, probably not without a, a place chance of some sort either. Yeah, of the two, though, I've got King of Hearts in. Uh, I thought this uh, was a really good third behind Golden 60. He's a really nice horse. He's going to get a good run from Barrier 6 as well. So he's going well, as you say. I think the penny's finally dropped for him. I think Diamond Brilliant actually is quite a smart young horse too. We haven't seen him fully developed yet. He's far from fully furnished. Um, and off a lightweight and a good barrier, he's going to be in the mix for me. All right. Final one to have a look at. And, um, of course, it is... You, you, King, I'll go with that uh, for now. This is him trialling one of his three trials. He comes home in front. Yeah, it was a good trial too, I thought. Um, 1,056 pounds. As I mentioned, in South Africa, he has won over 1,000, so he has got that speed. He steps up here, 1,200, barrier of four. He has to carry the, the top weight, and as I mentioned, he's only 1,056, but I thought he won with something in hand there. Yeah. He's not overly big, but he's quite agile, quite robust, and it looks to have a bit of spring in his step, so... Um, I'm interested to see how he performs and interested to know what his actual name is too. Yeah. Well, after that maiden win, he went into the, uh, the gold medallion and golden horseshoe. So mm. group races after that. Um, Athero, with or against? I'm going to be with him. Um, you wouldn't want to take odds on with, though, with I think, a uh, two-year-old stepping up in handicap company for the first time. He's on top, Yu Yu King, King of Hearts and Hero Happiness. 10-1-2-7. Yeah, it's a point that uh, everyone's making, you know, a two-year-old taking on older horses, but he realistically might be a two-year-old in mind, but he looks like he's in a three-year-old's body, maybe even a more fully matured type of three-year-old. That'll take him a long way here, just uh, his natural ability. Diamond Brilliant, Arrow Happiness, King of Hearts. I'm happy to take the chance as well that the 10 can get it done, provided he stays clear of traffic and doesn't get unbalanced, because I think if he does get unbalanced, then all of a sudden... Um, things can change. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing something quite exciting here with Athero. Ten and two, we've all got King of Hearts in there as well. That's race number eight.